it is Professor Tracy Lim. I will be your instructor for the Come on, guys. Hey, if this is working, then these aren't, okay? I expect more from one of my own. So I'll be awful sad, hey, very sad. <laughs> Take that away, Professor. I know what you did. Do I see your face? <laughs> terms, we will be studying a branch of economic theory that delves into the behavior of individual economic... A question about something that I didn't understand. Oh, and which part was that? Everything after in layman's terms. It's <laughs> <laughs> hard. I'll tell you when you sign up. You can't hear it. I see we have our funny man. Oh, it's okay. You know, I like comedy, too. Um, oh, this is one of my... I feel like you have to stop being the class clown once you get to college. Because now you're paying to be there. Stop, literally stop wasting my time. <laughs> the professor is right in this episode. Wasting everyone's time, who? See where we stand. Who here knows the difference between inflation, recession, deflation, depression? I really want snake bites, like the lip ones, and I also want my other eyebrow pierced. Also, my hair is up. I don't think y'all ever see my hair up. <clears throat> um, it's February 14th today, so today's actually Valentine's Day, and I found out through TikTok that Valentine's Day is actually a day of celebration of death and execution, which, like, how did we get from that to love? And, um, no one reads my second favorite holiday, because my favorite holiday is Halloween. And everybody's like, why is your second favorite holiday Valentine's Day? Because they're so different. But apparently they're not that different anymore. my headphones but it's Tuesday question mark and I'm rearranging my room so let me show you what it looks like now I'm not gonna film me rearranging it but I'll give you like updates throughout it it's just it's gonna be a lot to do so I don't have to worry about filming the whole thing but you will get like quarter of the updates it's gonna take me all day let's start with my door We have my poster wall, which I'm very proud of, and it looks gorgeous. And I like the way it looks now. And here's the thing. If it doesn't end up looking the way I want or if things don't fit, I'm going to have to put it all back. Because my mom's like, why don't you measure? And I'm like, well, I do. It just, I can't measure right, apparently. But we have my tiny TV poster wall with my altar. One of my altars. This is kind of just like my decorative altar. I don't actually do any work here. I typically just work on the floor, actually, because all my ingredients are right here. I got this thing. I got all my tarot cards there. TV. Another TV. Art project. Glass table. VHS. Bed. Oh my god, wait, I never showed y'all over here. I just put up that cross a few days ago. Bedside table. More posters. And, like, I like the way it looks because, like, I, the thought process behind it, because I move my room around like every like three months, I want to say, because I hate change. And I was going to do this during the spring equinox because I can open my window like deep cleaning, you know, spiritual wise. Um, but I already have many things planned for that day 
to celebrate it. So I'm like, why don't you just do it now? So you don't have to worry about this then. But I like the way that my one of my dressers is there and like you could change and like look in the mirror. But here's the thing. I only ever usually wear clothes day to day basis out of this dresser. So here's what I'm planning. I'm going to move this dresser there, move my bed here, put my nightside table there. But I want to put like a mini altar on it instead of it being a bedside table. And then I want to put my mirror like here, hoping and assuming that it all fits along this wall. It's either going to fit perfectly or it's not going to fit at all. Um, and then here I can have my shelf. My TV can fit in that corner. But I always love having this in this corner. So I don't know what this is going to look like on this wall. Because I'll have my TV and the stand. I'll have that, that, and this all on this wall and they're all like different heights so to be able to like plan it perfectly especially around my posters and to a way that I like it is it's going to be a task and now that I look at it I don't know if it's going to fit because my tv is also going to be in that corner hmm the only way to find out is to do it so I'll see y'all <clears throat> uh an update for y'all. Mirrors moved. All my plants are out. Shit off my altar. Bedding. Now I have to I think I'm gonna take this out of my room. Not permanently, but just for now, so I can move my bed and shit into this corner. Cause I can't move my room around without taking at least one piece of furniture out. see okay stuck to this this is what it's looking like empty and barren mirror is here I don't know if my dresser is gonna fit here so I was just gonna keep it here I don't think it'll fit I mean I can measure it like a normal person but I do want my mirror, I want it out, right? But I don't like how close this proximity is, is the issue. Um, but I can put my bookshelf here and my cabinet thing. So it will fit eventually. It's just the issue of how I want it to fit. Um, would you like to see all my shit in the kitchen actually? It's a mess, but it looks gorgeous. Got my little cabinet thingy. My bookshelf. All my plants. More plants. And my alarm. Hang on. Got my tiny TVs. Some art projects. Don't like my reflection. My dresser, the one you were sitting on, would just fit in that corner. Like, that thing is exactly 62 inches. But here's the thing. Is that, like, I wanted it here because it would make sense to have both of my dressers in my closet. For the first time in my life, I may add. My closet's never been an actual closet. Um, and then, like, blah, blah, blah. You get dressed, right? Click on an outfit. Then you come here to look at it correct I could put my shoe platforms there it would actually I could put them there for all I care it would make sense but I don't know if I would like the way this would look without that dresser there and the only why am I so short the only way I'm standing my tiptoes right now the only way to find out is if I do it that is the issue. 
because I know I'll like my, because I made that poster wall specifically to go around the shit that is on my altar. And now my altar will be here. That's the biggest part is if I move everything, I have to move. Like if I move all of my furniture, I have to move all of my posters. And then I'd have to put my, because my TV still has to, fuck. I have to move that cabinet because my TV needs to go in that corner, which means I could put it there. The way you're not seeing any of this. I'm just talking out loud at this point because I don't know what to do. If I put the cabinet there, I could put the the bookshelf, the thing that holds all my tapes, next to it. I could put my square thing, I don't know what to call it, right here. And I could bring in the shelf still if I want to. The issue is the bookshelf's like light wood, so I don't know if it would look good there. And how I said I was going to do this during the spring equinox, but I'm doing it now instead. I'm thinking I'm going to stain the bookshelf during the spring equinox because I have to strip it and stain it according to my father. <sighs> I think I might try the dresser. We'll see how it goes. I'll update y'all. <coughs> Almost all of my furniture. <sighs> um, anyways, sitting on a stool, but this is what it looks like. What are these things called? Dressers. They're in the closet now. <laughs> um, that is empty. I want to make that into a mini altar. My TV is going to go there. My tiny TV is going to go up there. I think this is throwing me for a loop because it's light wood, but once I'm able to stain it, I think it'll look a lot better. Plus, I have, like, none of my shit in here. It's all just, like, furniture, so it looks odd. I think once I have everything, especially, like, my plants, everything will be fine. And the, the issue is I'm going to have to find a way to, like, rearrange the posters, as I've been talking about. But so far, everything is working well. However, there is one piece of furniture I don't have in here, and it's the, the black shelf thing that I spray-painted. I think I spray-painted it in a video, actually. Um, I could fit in here if I really, really want to, but I think I might try to get rid of some stuff. And my arm hurts. <laughs> I think I might try to get rid of some stuff in that cabinet and then put all my herbs and stuff in there. Or I can clean off this. If I get rid of my snack bin, I could put them there and then put the shelf downstairs or in the kitchen if my mother would like it um but yeah now it's time for me to move all my shit back in here and hopefully i like it because if i move all my stuff in here and i don't like it like i'll probably sleep on it tonight but if i wake up and i still don't like it, i will literally move everything back i don't care <laughs> i took pictures in my room before i changed anything just in case Slowly but surely, it is coming together. Except all the shit that I got on my floor. We got the TV. I'm going to put Maggie there. We got a cute little setup. So the TV works, by the by, as y'all have seen. My white one does not. Um, but I can't throw it out solely for nostalgic reasons. And, like, it turns on. And it's, like, a cool, like, pink and purple on the screen. So, like, I can use it as a photo shoot thing. And I painted it. And, like, that was one of the first things I painted when quarantine first started, like, two years ago. So it's sentimental. But I put my tape recorder, recorder, tape rewinder. <laughs> my VHS tape rewinder. So I don't have to do it manually. This is the remote for this TV. And then we got, I think this is Oliver. It's either Oliver or Randy. My two new monsters look exactly the same. I put my Satanic Temple membership thing there. This is a card from an Etsy shop. My two fake, one of my two fake necklaces. We got Baphomet. And then we got my little raven. Mm. There you go. 
and then my Deadstream ticket. And that's the only thing that I have. Oh, I, I put those two things there. But everything else is still a mess. <laughs> My altar is almost done, by the way. <laughs> I think I'm liking it so far. Door won't open all the way. Hmm. It doesn't open all the way anyways, but maybe I should move that that pair that's in the back. Perfect. Okay, I am all finished. I'm going to do a mini tour. We got my shoes down here as we saw, and then I have the other pair back there because didn't fit. My backpack. We got my poster wall. We have my piece of This is Ricky. Sitting here all proud. Uh, we have my bookshelf. I'm in the way of my light. We got my VHS tapes, my painting, Brandy, my disco ball. Fun. We got my munchy snack bin right there next to my clock and then my stereo. I am watching Beetlejuice right now, but here's my tiny TV. My tape reminder. More plants. I did fit this thing in here. So I got all my herbs. I got my tarot decks. My, um, what's this? Oracle decks. There we go. <laughs> my perfume. My actual TV. Got my laptop. My camera bag. And then I did Halsey's Love and Power. I moved a bandana over here because it was looking empty. Those are wristbands from concerts I've been to. We got my some of my paintings um charger up here is just i think it stayed relatively the same here's my nightstand slash kind of an altar um don't know how much i'll work here actually but it's cute we have my grim reaper i got him from michael's a few years ago i don't want him to fall but um lava lamp this lamp My crystal ball, which is one of my prized possessions. Up here, got me a little rosary. This dress that I hand painted. Let me turn off this again. Bed, working comfortable. Scream, stayed the same. Command hook for my headphones. I put my spray paint down here. 
this skateboard I've had for like two years and I took off the wheels and the wheels are hidden around my room. But I think I'm going to paint it this summer. Like I'll finally do it. Um, give me my mirror. Give me. Um, this is exactly, oh, I put this up. This is my satanic temple flag. And then I think we saw my altar, plant, herbs, jewelry, coins, my little fairy, flowers. We got Ghostface, my other plant, and then we have my Olivia O'Brien poster, bookshelf, bandanas, kind of TV that doesn't work, <laughs> with my Alice in Wonderland clock, and then we have canvases. Um, I think that's it. And it took me, let's see, what time is it? Seven? It took me eight hours to do this, because I've been doing this since 11 in the morning. <laughs> Live people ignore the strange and unusual. I myself am strange and unusual. You look like a regular girl to me. It is over 45 degrees right now. Fahrenheit. I am so prepared to break out shorts just because it's been under like 15 for three weeks. I even have my window open. I mean, we still got snow on the ground. There's no sun, but it's warm. Hey, besties. I just got back from work. And let me show y'all what I... Where's my bag? What? Didn't finish the sentence. It is dangerous when a bitch like me gets paid, let me tell you. see them in this light they're baby heads baby dolls things now their best friend necklaces you know like that thing that you would give your best friend in middle school yeah that's what they are except i'm going to take them off the jump ring and the chain and then attach them to earrings like hooks can't get the tape off and then i also scored the best deal on a vhs last night um, I found Clueless on VHS for seven bucks and free shipping. So guess who's getting Clueless? Me. That's right. How do I? Okay. Because like if I ever want to, I can just put it back on the chain. But like I think they'd be cute as earrings. Thanks for watching this video where I, what did I do? I cleaned, not cleaned, rearranged my room and purchased things as I always do.